Hello, my name is David Webb, and this is a video for Dweebovision. I am a Scrabble Grandmaster, and in this video I am going to play Scrabble while providing in-game commentary on my moves. Hopefully this will help to improve your game, and be fun to watch. The game has just started, so let's join the action. It's me to go first. Chi, I think, is the obvious play. It's the only Q play available apart from pluralising it, and the Rackley is pretty good. Now, is this a bingo? I'm not sure that it is. Through the eye I would have had, I think, rarefies, but I've got a number of floaters to consider. So I hope that there is something here. Now what about the T? The F isn't particularly bingoey, but the rest of the rack is. Can't see anything through the T. The, what about the O? Can't see anything through that. What about the P? I've got the pre the pre prefix. Gosh, what a frustrating rack. And I've also got the E of Depot. Ah, do I have Rarify spelt with an E and making cheese? Let's see, this would have been a big oversight if I'd missed it. Great, I do. Now this does open up row A. 74 points, so it would certainly be better if I had a bingo through the P, the O, or the T, but I couldn't see one. And that's pretty good. There might be a seven-letter bingo here. And I've got a lot of floaters. Onto a Y, I would have Bisturi. I suspect there's some higher probability words available. This is slightly similar to the previous rack in that the B is slightly non bingo as as is the U. Ah, I've got burritos, and I think I might have agonised over this before as to whether it's a brand name or whether it's a regular product. I think it might be a type of Mexican, a generic name for a type of Mexican food. I think it's good. 76 points. What would be better would be a double-double through either the F of Rarifies or the O of Depot. But since the B and the U are unbingoey, I don't think there is such a play. Gosh, through an H I would have X Huming. There isn't an H at the moment. I'm pretty sure there isn't a seven letter bingo here. I've got the un prefix, the ing ending, and the ex prefix. Well, there's my H, but it's not available for exhuming. just looking at the floaters in depot and the F of rarifies to see if anything springs to mind. No, I do have queeming through the queue or downwards from the queue but that's not fantastic. I'm looking now for good spots for my X. Well there's no great spots uh, in the sense of an X right next to a premium square. I've got unfix in row E. 30 points. And that's good because it uses up the U and the X. GEM is not a great leave though. Although it's not a bad leave. I'm looking at uh, row H underneath depot going on to the triple word square at H15. 
So it would have to be an E or an I underneath. Ah, well, Mixon is good. Rack leaves awful, but let's see, let me see if the score compensates. 52 points, I think it does. Unfix was 30, so an extra 22 points. GU, not a good combination, but at least there's a consonant and a vowel. So I'm not going to be, have a rack of uh, all consonants or all vowels. Now, that's quite a, a good pickup. I don't have a bingo, but given that I started with GU, uh, this is pretty good. I've got Quach down from the Q. 25 points. And the C goes next to the double letter square at L8. So my opponent wouldn't be able to get a huge score coming down onto the triple word square at uh, 08 and it would open the board up and since I've got a huge lead an open board would enable me to keep on scoring okay all of those words are good now I'm checking the floaters which really is just the e and the n of mixon and the f of rarifies to see if i have a bingo although this isn't a great rack it is balanced and there are no duplicate tiles and there's synergy with the c and the h so there may be some eight letter bingos with this rack but I can't see one. So how to uh, sort this rack out? Quach was one possibility. Keeping GM, that's a pretty ropey rack leave. My a U or my I can go underneath the X of Mixon. I've got the I for going underneath the Q. Well, this is not an, an easy rack to consider. I've got Mu up here. Let me see what that scores. 27 points. Well, that's my starting point. Gets rid of a problem tile in the U. It keeps the uh, synergetic CH and it keeps a balanced rack. The G isn't good. A play of mug or gum somewhere would be much better. So, having said that, let me see what gum scores down here. 25 points so it's a two point sacrifice which alters removes the G from the rack leave to leave this rack leave ACHI although this is has an even number of vowels and consonants and ideally you keep one more consonant than a vowel I think the lack of synergy between the G and the C and the H justifies the sacrifice of two points. I'm also taking out the E and the N floater. Quite a nice rack. Can't see a bingo. I've got Die Archie down from the D of Zo. That'll be over 30 points, which is quite good. Just wonder, well, I'm, I'm wondering what else is there is. The F is in the middle of a double-double. The F of rarifies and IT takes an A after it. Well, I'm inclined to play Diarchy because it scores over 30 points. There isn't any great rack leave to end with. And by playing off six tiles, I'm increasing my chances of drawing one of the two blanks because neither of them has been played yet. Okay. 
I'm not sure if I have a seven letter bingo here. On to an N I would have Ostracon or Cartoons. The N of Mixon's not in the right place. I've got locators down from either L of Telly. Do I have something better? I'm looking at the T of Telly to see if I've got something and I can't see it. This is this is pretty nice rack. On to a P I'd have co-pasta or root caps or cap roots. So I struggle to remember which of those it is. Now is there an anagram of locators? Don't think there is. And now I'm going to play it. Where am I going to play it? I've got a choice and they both score the same. Okay, this is better. Because it doesn't place a vowel next to a double letter square. So locator 72. I still do not draw one of the blanks. Don't think there's a seven or eight letter bingo with this rack, but it shouldn't be hard to resolve. I've got busy at 01, which would score quite well. If that stays available, I'm not expecting it to. I need to keep in mind column eight, where I've got the DI, the D of depot and the I of cheese. DI could be the beginning of a bingo. Wavings, I think that's good, but I'm gonna check it. Yeah, that's fine. So busy stays available. Problem with busy is that it keeps is the rack leave. It's keeping N N E L. Duplicate N is bad. L and N lack synergy. But busy does score well. Thirty nine points. So I'm looking at the floaters in locators and telly to see if I have a bingo. It's not a promising rack for a bingo, but you should always check. Nope, can't see anything. So, is there something better than busy? Is there somewhere great for my N, for, for one of my N's and my Y? I guess the problems, I have a lot of um, problems with this rack, but not major ones. A duplicate ends a problem. The U is always a problem child. Problem tile. Uh, y is not good. The B is not good. So, can I do better than busy? Blenny is a good six letter word, but I can't see anyone to play that. I'm looking to see if I've got anything down from the V of wavings. Can't see anything. So this is what busy looks like. I guess the B, the U and the Y are all uh, problem tiles. So this is getting rid of three of them. I am retaining a mix of vowels and consonants. This does stop my opponent using this spot. Yep. Okay, that's quite a kind pickup. Could have been a lot worse. Can't see a seven. Ten tiles in the bag now. I've got a hundred point lead. So if my pen bingoed next go, it could be uh, close. I don't think un alone is good. And in any event, I don't think it plays. Now I've got the T and the E of Telly to consider. Can't see anything through the T or the E. Through an M I would have new meal. I've got the R of locators to consider. Can't see anything through that. Now, do I have anything down from the V of wavings? Gosh, I don't think I do. I'm looking for a six letter word beginning with V. I've only got one point, point tile, so this may be my first move where I struggle to score well. If 
Well, I think there may be a six letter V word here. Well, I can't see it. I'm looking at the vowels that are left. Nine vowels out of 17 tiles, pretty vowel heavy. Gosh, is it suddenly becoming a tricky rack? I'm, I've got seven minutes left, so I'm not in a lot of time trouble. So, what about something beginning in U? I could just stop there, 15 points. I, I could play an N for another four points, but then Rack's unbalanced. But have I got something better? Three E's left, so Orne, 21 points, I think that is better. ALNO is more balanced. Yeah, I think I'll go with that. Gosh, that's pretty poor. Now, my lead is 130 points, about. Seven tiles left. Quite bingo-y, but Val heavy. My rack is a long way away from a bingo, so I'm not expecting to bingo again. I've good, got good scoring tiles. But are there good spots for them? I'm looking to see if I've got a six-letter word beginning with the V of wavings. Can't see such a word. I guess what's quite good is that the bag is vowel heavy. So I'm unlikely to have an all-consonant rack. The A of diarchy is possible. Job takes an E on the end. Right, two tiles left. The remaining tiles now aren't looking quite so bingo-y because of the three eyes and the vowel preponderance. So, where can I score with this rack? Gosh, tricky. I don't have an E for going after job. Haven't got anything to really take advantage of the A15 triple word square above the G of hog. Now what about the bottom N2, that double word square? Ah. Okay, I was thinking I had gravy, I don't. I could play groan. I could play grok. Grok's pretty good because it doesn't open up, or any four letter play doesn't open up row O. 29 points is a big score, and the V is a good scoring tile to have in the end game, and the W is the only scoring tile unplayed. Just checking all those words are good. What would we be better is if I could place my K or my V on the triple letter square, one square to the right of K. But I can't see a way of doing that. Okay, my opponent may have a bingo. But I can't see it and there's not many opportunities for bingoing on this board. So what I'm looking to do is go out in two. I can't go out in one that I can see. Yeah, that's fine. Now, can I go out in one now? The E is the tile to consider. Can't see anything through that. So how do I score with my V? I'm looking at the uh, floaters in viewer to see if I've got anything which reaches across to a double word square. So that's the E and the W. 
can't see anything there. Right, now I can see what my opponent's got. He's got AI, so he is going out. I'm sure there's more than one opportunity for him to go out. He could play WAI through the W of Viewer and RAI through the R of Diarchy, so, and, and there's plenty of other opportunities. So I've got uh, Vane up here. Well, I've got Viner. I've got Vinal. Great. That's 28 points. I haven't opened up anything amazing for my opponent. And my opponent is going out. If he doesn't, I can certainly play my N. And I've got three minutes to find the best spot for it. I don't think I'm going to bother looking and um, because I'm expecting him to go out. And he does. So click uh, pass to end the game. And the final score, 3-3-1 three, three, to 4-6-5, a winning margin of 134 points. So quite a big um, margin of victory. Let's see what I missed. It was me to go first. Chi looks best. Now, was there anything other than rarefies? Fratries. Okay, and that's through the T of Depot. So same score as Rarifies, but wouldn't have opened up the triple word square. And I played Burritos. I also had Bitours at E12, again through the T of Depot. I didn't spot that. Mixon for 52, highest scoring play, and quickly looking at the others, can't see anything which is better. Now, I could have played half for 31, but the rack leave is awful. CGU is a, a horrible um, triple of letters. I played gum for 25 points, just six fewer points and kept... C-H-A-I, which is quite a nice rack leave. And it gave me the flexibility to score well here. Now, oh gosh, that's annoying. I um, absolutely did not consider a play from A1 across to A5. I can't be sure that I would have spotted Chaya, but if I had have done, 54 four points would have been a massive score. Having missed it, Diarchy uh, doesn't look too bad compared with the uh, remaining options. Locators was the only bingo. Now, this is where I played busy. What else could I have done? Well, nothing that's obviously better. Yeah. And this is where I played Orny, I think. Yeah. That looks good. Now, I played Grok for 29, the second choice on that list. I could have got 44 for flank through the F of Rarifies. Well, that would have been um, a really nice score, and I think the extra 15 points um, is fine. I mean, the rack leave of GOV might even be better than ALNV, given uh, the lack of remaining scoring tiles. Here, my play was Vinyl. That looks best. Uh, Leah Linoliate would have been a fabulous play from A1. It wouldn't have been better than Vinyl, but it would at least have been nice to have um, spotted it. And let's just see if, what my opponent could have got for the last move. Well, they got seven. They could have got one more point by playing a high at G4. So, a good game. I got off to a really nice start. I... I was able to play uh, Chi straight away and then had back-to-back -back bingos. So it gave me a good lead, which I was able to maintain into the end game. So I think overall it was um, quite a useful game in terms of... Um, well, I guess the, the main message which I'm putting out in a lot of these videos is that the primary consideration for most 
moves before the end game is score and rack leave and I think this game illustrated it quite well in particular the play of a gum leaving CHAI though there, there was no obvious best move on that turn and I think um, spending time to find gum and leaving CHAI paid off because I then had options the following go and was able to keep scoring well and rack leave is really important for avoiding getting into uh, trouble so i hope you enjoyed watching that and got something out of it my name is david webb this has been a video for dweebo vision